robots do everything now, right? They drive our cars, they make our cars, take our jobs, everything. But what about the hedonistic interfaces between people and machines? That is, what about cocktail robotics? Good. Robert Weiner said, can we imagine, can God imagine playing a significant game with his own creation or hers? Can we imagine interfacing with robots in a cocktail context? And the answer is, why, yes we can. Robo Exotica is the best festival of cocktail robot robotics in the world. For a number of years it had that distinction by being the only such festival. <laughs> But it is no longer the only festival. We can do things like drink cocktails from a model railroad. We can drink cocktails playing foosball. When you score, you get a beer bong hit. You can get drunk so fast. We can do, what do we have there? Oh my god, you can bowl for cocktails. You can, you have the Twitter shitter in the lower right. You tweet to it and it emits, exudes some noxious brew, kind of like social media. <laughs> or Ben Cowden's Corpse Reviver, oh my god, this is the most beautiful robot, completely mechanical, the most beautiful robot ever. Wrought iron, I, you should see his work in general. Or a bunch of kids, they made a western themed bar. Um, I was able to help them and a bunch of people helped them bring that to San Francisco. They made a western themed bar, holy moly, you arm wrestle the th thing, it shoots down a drink. In fact, oh, it doesn't have the sound. Look at, look at every one of these details. And these are just a bunch of kids at the technical university, not even the highfalutin. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even the highfalutin arts university. Um, cocktail robotics, though, have led to some things. There's a reasonable case to be made that the MakerBot came because of Breeze Frustration 3D printing shot glasses for Robo Exotica. And I don't think that was 100% of it, but he was frustrated. It did happen. Hobot, oh my god, poor Hobot. He has a thirst for liquor and no money. The two are correlated. You can, you can help Hobart all. Or, have you ever wondered what your face looks like when you kick someone in the balls? With the balls of steel, you can know that. You kick the robot in the balls and it takes a picture of you. The idea is these aren't just robots to pour drinks for you. The hippie white Russian maker makes white Russians, dude. Soy milk or cow's milk. This was a, a product of a workshop on cocktail robotics. If you note the detail there, it's chopsticks with little solen uh, hobby servos is valves. And then the little indicator, I love that, cow or flower. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, then it's gone big time even. The Bartendro, you know, with Rob Kay and some other people, they got an almost $200,000 Kickstarter basically making peristaltic pumps better, which is pretty cool. The Bartendro has also successfully gotten people drunk and led to some explorations in genetic algorithms. How many cocktails can you make if you have seven ingredients? According to Rob, 24. Um, but they're mostly foul cocktails. You can have food as part of your cocktail experience. This robot makes yummy crepes. And you haven't had crepes till you've had crepes at three in the morning in Austria, drunk. Um, there's also an educational component. With cocktail robotics, we can introduce the young to robotics through gameplay. Uh, the baby is actually pushing the button to get the little rabbit to poop out peanuts for him, or her. And the other kids are looking at Tom uh, DeRoke's Minecraft cocktail robot. Music, Ryan Finnegan of Durango hooked up a beer orchestra, like you take a beer and that triggers a MIDI trigger. Um, then coming up is My Robot, which looks, I think, like a cross between a musical instrument and something you'd see in an execution chamber. It's possible I should work on the aesthetics of that. Anyway, I think the lesson of all of this is... Wait. <laughs> <laughs>